in the galaxy, diversity has been a default characteristic since the beginning of time. The mere existence of thousands of cultures, alien species, and advanced technologies has given way to a representation of the infinite capacity for construction, ingenuity, and improvement of every living being in this galaxy. Improvement, collaboration, and creativity are innate characteristics within each civilization, and over time, various cultures have laid their mark as a testimony of cultural prowess. The 20 Wonders of the Galaxy is a list compiled by the historian Vicente for his work Arturum Galactinum. Vicente compiled only those wonders constructed by intelligent beings, omitting natural phenomena. Vicente's 20 Wonders of the Galaxy are famous, despite the fact that many of them have been lost to time. Kersant, the heart of the Republic the political and economic center of the galaxy. The planet's original surface has been completely covered by skyscrapers and urban structures, giving it a unique look. Here we find the Kursan's Imperial Palace. Originally known as the Presidential Palace, this megastructure dominates Galactic City and contains everything from armories to observatories. Located in the Zag system of the Core War region, not far from Kursan and the Corella Run, is the planet Argo, a place with a large number of jungles and forests and vast oceans that cover the surface of the planet. The exact date is unknown, but during prehistory, the Shara civilization arrived in the planet, and just as they did in different places, they built pyramids of iridescent, indestructible plastic and featured sharp edges. The Dawn Pyramid of Argyll is a work that the Sharu left for posterity, and their influence on the planet was so great that it inspired the planet's architectural theme. Along the Perlimian trade route and being the third planet in the system, the planet Axum is one of the main planets of the core. The history of Axum originates thanks to the colonization by the population of Kersen using the sleeper ships. Axum is considered from its beginnings as a military fortress since the Ashur Empire was a government that preceded the Galactic Republic by centuries and centered on Axum as the capital of the empire. The empire was peacefully absorbed by the growing influence of Kersen several centuries before 25,053 before Battle of Javin, when the Galactic Republic was founded, although the empire's influence could still be felt in the millennia that followed. In Axum lies the next wonder, 35,000 warriors cast in solid brass and frozen in positions of pain and terror. Legend says, that these statues were actually the army of the Ashur Empire that was transmuted into statues through magic. A planet located in the core worlds, Shokan, a world with a varied topography that included forests and badlands. Construction of the spire took over nine millennia to complete, by which time the skyscraper had reached a low orbit altitude. The spire became a popular core world's tourist attraction before its destruction. The current spire is a recreation made from modern materials. Nothing is known about the individual Vorte Velgath, but it was he who ordered the construction of the next wonder that bears his name. Velgath's beacon was a hyperspace beacon built in 25,100 before Battle of Javin. It was placed on the Perlimian trade route and the main characteristic of this beacon is its shape. It has three faces sculpted on its surface. A face of the Kolumi civilization, one of the oldest sentient species in the galaxy that disappeared without a trace along with the Celestials. The second face is a Cacodemon a mythological demon that originated from stories told in the core worlds, horrible creatures that live in the shadows and that emerge from the depths of the dark underworld to terrorize the galactic citizens. And the third face was a Molator, a creature from Alderaan mythology, 
it was said to use its magical powers to protect royalty. The planet Duro is the homeworld of the Duro species and is located on the Corellian trade spine in the core. Duro, like other core planets, was conquered by the Rakata, and after the fall of the Infinite Empire, the Duro adopted a system of monarchy as a form of government. The Valley of Royalty was an ancient valley on the planet where the Duros varied many of their most liberated rulers. There were many secret catacombs and caves in the valley, hiding a wealth of both historical information and valuables. Despite being two totally different civilizations, the Duros created a valley to commemorate their rulers, much like the Sith in the Valley of the Sleeping Kings. Ovroa Sky was a planet within the borderland regions of the Inner Rim. The world was a terrestrial mix of tundras, mountains, grasslands, and deserts. Within this diverse planet is the Celebratus Archive that was a library that held complete records from over 300,000 different species. The fame of this place was enormous in the galaxy for housing a ridiculous amount of information and the creation of the library secured the reputation of the planet as a capital of research. For the Tionis in the Tion Cluster region, Zim is a figure to honor. The Pirate King throughout his campaigns demonstrated the bravery and ability of the Tionese to achieve fame and glory. And to commemorate his memory, a statue of Zim himself was built on the Severo, the planet that Zim's father had been denied his conquest and that according to the legends of the Pirate King, Zim, surpassing his father's fame, conquered it without any drop of blood. It originally stood 100 meters high and contained treasure chambers that had protective traps to fend off looters. Within a canyon stood the next wonder, a settlement that offered a wide range of amenities such as restaurants, bars, and parks. Furthermore, it enjoyed a well-earned reputation for hosting the most opulent hotels on the planet. The peculiarity of this city lay in its downward construction, where the oldest buildings rose on the surface and the most modern facilities went deeper in the crevice. The lower levels of the canyon had remained virtually unchanged throughout Alderaan's history, transforming into a maze of caverns that house impressive crystal formations, hot springs, and underground lakes. Due to its location in the canyon, the city surface only received six hours of sunlight a day. However, the streets and hallways were meticulously designed with artificial lightning, integrated into the architecture in creative and intelligent ways. Each color of light took on a unique meaning, white for death, blue for happiness, green for love, silver for prosperity, and orange to indicate danger and warning. In a far corner of the city was hidden the industrial section, which operated thanks to geothermal energy plants, taking advantage of the planet's natural heat sources to keep this unique metropolis running. A golden interstellar barge, inlaid with rose and azure crystals, the Ark traveled for a century between worlds. There, the vessel collected specimens of aquatic life. The Ark at one point became lost in space, remaining so for 10 millennia. The ship became housed in Valve of Archives on the planet Manda. Kherson has not always been the great city, capital of the Republic. At one point, Kherson was known as Notron, and it is known that the planet was inhabited by two species. The Tongue, who were the ancestors of the Mandalorians, and the Zell, the ancestors of the humans of Kherson. At some point in history, both civilizations fought a war for dominance of Kherson. The Kherson ice crypts were a network of underground caves in the glaciers near the south pole of Kherson, where at the end of this tunnel system were 13 burial chambers, each intended to house a mummified corpse with weapons, armor, and war trophies. 
Here, the cell honor the remains of their leaders, the 13 leaders of the 13 nations of Zell during the war against the Tang. The Caliginus Automaton of Tomoreth was a droid that was publicly displayed at the inner rim celestial body, Tomoreth. Coated with a layer of black lacquer and reaching more than 50 meters in height, this wonder sat upon a brick throne and breathed fire at visitors, a sight that amazed them and ensured fame for the droid. Makimte was the dry homeworld of the Swok Swok species on the Parliament trade route. Like many civilizations, such as the Sith or the Duro, celebrating and remembering the death is an important part of the culture. The Swok Swok built a necropolis throughout their history. Every Swok Swok that died on Makimte was given a plate that was their final resting place. The process had been going on for a millennium and had produced 1.2 trillion memorial squares. The track was a checkerboard of polished stone squares, each supported by a column called Estelle. Olictas was a planet in the Olicta system within the core war region of the galaxy. It was a jungle war and where the Shrasa temple was located. In the entire galaxy, this temple was unique as it was a possible type of nexus to the Force as it distorted reality and blessed visitors with powers of teleportation and far-seeing. This shrine is believed to have sat atop a cavern of luminous spice. Another contribution and commissioned by Zim the Despot, located in Nuswata. The Forbidden Gardens of Nuswata, located in the caldera of an extinct volcano, were originally cultivated as a royal retreat for the court of Zindi Despot's empire. All who entered without permission were executed, and legend said that the gardens were cultivated by a group of slaves blind at birth. It was said that traitors, failed Taiwanese military officers, and defeated enemies were executed there. In the Antho sector of the Inner Rim is located Birchest, an extremely beautiful world, whose highly sailing seas and strong tides result in immense crystals deposits on the planet's shores. The city of glowing crystal was a city carved by the native Barchestians entirely from one massive crystal, which was created over the centuries from the salt deposits of the adjacent sea. The Jedi Order has been one of the oldest organizations in the entire galaxy guarding ancient knowledge in unique artifacts. Fatim, an inner rim planet with a terrain of bamboo swamps and many mountains, is home to the wonder, the halls of knowledge, the place where the Jedi kept their most valuable information and artifacts. It was once the largest repository of four symbiote artifacts in the galaxy. Discovered by the wild explorer Hiko, a magnificent, delicate and extremely intricate structure located on the planet Vortex. The centuries-old Cathedral of Winds was the focal point of Vortex's annual concert of the Winds, a cultural festival to celebrate the planet changes of seasons. The native Vors didn't permit any wind to record the music made by the landmark. As the wind rushed through the countless spires, tunnels and openings, Vores will actually cover certain areas with their own bodies, creating different tunes and songs that kept memorized in their heads. Each song was known galaxy-wide for its beauty and uniqueness. A spectacular artwork located in the world Alsaken, a mountain-scale mosaic made out of gleaming tiles. The mosaic features a centerpiece and radiating from the central square of the old city of Rukapar, five lames of tiles stretch to the peaks of five mountains. In the region of the Outer Rim Territories, in the Auril Sector, located in the Auril System, is Nespis 8, a Norwegian city that was constructed during the early days of hyperspace travel as an isolated interstellar beacon. According to legend, 
the Jedi Knights filled the space station as a meeting place for scientists from across the galaxy. The station was devoted to knowledge and learning, and it was considered neutral territory. Even if two planets were involved in brutal war, their scientists could come to Nespis to do research. As knowledge grew, so did the station, until it was supposed to have grown to the size of a small planet. The legends say that Nespis 8 contained all the knowledge in the galaxy, including all the wisdom of the Jedi.